Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a good bit of science to cover. We're going to hit Betelgeuse, the tropics, quakes, gold, superpower, and the double dose of solar triggering of seismic activity. We'll also look ahead at Rigor cycle solar upticks expected the rest of the year as we begin with the last 24 hours on our star. It's another quiet one, folks. We are pretty much right between the Rigor cycle upticks right now, and for now, flaring is low. Filaments remain stable. Geomagnetic conditions and solar wind are quiet, too. That is largely expected to continue except for the minor CME expected to arrive tonight or tomorrow. Sunspots lack the size and complexity to make bigger flares. The last mini-cycle uptick event was about a month ago, the X-Class events in June. That means the next short cycle upticks are expected in September and December. Should be a quieter end to summer in the Northern Hemisphere, one hopes. Interesting note. Here are the sunspot magnetic polarity marks about two years ago, and you see the blue positive leads on the north and the red negative leads on the south. Looking today, and the same holds true. This indicates that the solar polar magnetic fields have not fully finished reversing, so we do have some sunspot maximum to go. Quick check on seismicity. A 6.2 way out to sea down in the southern waters won't be scary in any way, but it's been days and days of magnitude 6 or higher quakes, that has continued yesterday. Checking in on the tropics, looks like the eastern Pacific is getting active. Now, not only does this merit monitoring for obvious reasons, but this seasonal event often correlates with upticks on the eastern ring of fire. That's the United States, Canada, Mexico, Central, and South America. Eyes open for that in the coming month. Some quick science notes. Betelgeuse has a buddy. It's almost certainly stealing material from it. So if you remember back when it dimmed and people were so worried it was going to go supernova, but I was saying, actually, it just had its nova. It was a dust production micronova event causing the dimming. Yeah, this pretty much tells us that's what happened. And where did the accretion material come from? It's little buddy. Up next, this defies physics, and I can't tell you I expected to ever see anything like this in our universe. Gold heated to over 30,000 degrees, and it didn't melt. Turns out flash heating can be controlled and physical state maintained. Almost preposterous, but definitely another amazing property of gold, especially for shielding against electromagnetic radiation. Folks, if you still haven't started stacking gold and silver, you must not know about their uses for protection in the disaster event, in addition to their value store now and on the way down. Goldobservers.com is sponsoring our documentary coming out this fall on the magnetic pole shift. The ancients revered gold and silver for a reason, especially the antimicrobial aspects of silver. It is a top-level recommendation for observers to include gold and silver in their preparations. Goldobservers.com are a company of observers. Now, our twin top stories. You may recognize the authors of these two papers on solar forcing of earthquakes. They have dozens of papers on this topic. And here they peg proton storms, solar wind, and geomagnetic storms as the triggering mechanisms for the large-scale sections of the crust. Remember, the ground is full of water, iron, other metals, and energetically reactive crystals like olivine. Of course they react to electromagnetic energy. Big golf clap for three of the leaders of solar quake forcing. And by the way, that is the entirety of chapter eight in our new book. Pre-order is only open for five more days, and then it's going to be at least a year until we order more. All pre-orders come signed, and we'll send a PDF copy to your email as well when the book ships out. Dozens of observers are at the ranch right now, by the way, for the speed dating event. Looking for a prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord? I will see you guys at 9.30 a.m. for the Q&A. There's a lot happening the rest of the year as well. Homesteading camp next week. Tactical training next weekend. And plenty of more coming the rest of the year, including pole shift conferences. Founders weekend with Dr. Dunning in September. The special October events. Check them out. Book your trip. ObserverRanch.com. The book pre-order link is below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.